all right guys and welcome back um honestly i wasn't planning on making an intro to this episode because of the fact that the story quest that we was given on the last episode well we only left off at basically we only completed the first or the first two parts of the quest and we didn't get the chance to complete it so this is technically an extension to the last episode and we're just going to continue on from there so if you guys can i hope you guys enjoy today's episode and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos all right so with that being said let's get right to it okay uh honestly i think we <laughs> started off this game what the hell oh my god what the hell is that that thing literally has wings on his back. Hold on, we gotta take a look at this. What the hell is that? Oh, that is not cool. That is seriously not cool. Got the little campfire. Okay, um... I hear the flickering, but I don't know what it is. Okay. I think it's downstairs. Probably is. Uh, let's go back to this UV real quick. Recharge ourselves. And then hopefully we can continue on with the main quest. Heal up a bit. All right, let's get to it. Inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container nearby. What the hell is it? Oh. It's like I hear it, but I don't know where it is. Okay. Um. Sound like it's up here. I think it is up there. There it is. Hmm. A shithole indeed. Oh wow! I didn't need to. Um. There you go. More inhibitors. We got some kids in this house. Uh, doors locked. All right, let's go back to the kids. What the hell? Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. It was so funny. Maya ain't a grown-up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. He got all freaked out and chased me away. Uh... Okay. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him. And I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's he what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's he what's it's real name is the Lazarus, and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay. I'll give you the stupid thing, but for 500. Oh my God. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10 and that's my last offer. Deal. 
Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Okay. Oh, yeah. The sun is coming up. Oh, yeah. But then again, still some parts around this city is dark. So I still have to be careful. Detected. Able to... But I just... What? What the hell? <laughs> Yo, the fact that they actually made this game feel like a real zombie apocalypse is just amazing, man. With the sirens and all that other stuff. Oh my god, I feel like I'm really in the zombie apocalypse. Oh, that is just so amazing, man. It seems like I'm getting better with the parkour, honestly. Alright. Let's do it. I haven't fought anybody yet in a while. Oh, wow. Adam. Oh, wow. Ah, I could have sworn I blocked that. Got him. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, got a vest? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh man. Since I'm talking about healing, I don't even remember the last time I ever crafted some med kits, honestly. I could craft 17? Oh my god, that is so good. Well, not 17. Wow, I'm reading it wrong. <laughs> I got 17 uh, chamomile. Uh, let's craft 8. Let's craft all of it. Let's see what that leads us. Nice. They got some stuff here. Wow. Got me a wallet. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, that's about it. No, I need to get this last one. Hey, oh, we're good. Pick up a brick. Try to throw it. <laughs> oh man. Better if we go this way. What was that? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, damn. There's infected around. That is not good. Need to heal first. I think I got over myself. A little too head. Alright. Here, so we could find a 
Ledge, there you go. I got here in 2024. I was young. All my short life, I'd lived in this little town. But eventually, like everyone else, I had to flee. And I... Uh, we heard the Villador was still taking people in, so we walked for 40 days. And 40 nights, when we got here, they had just closed the gates. So we camped outside the walls like thousands of other people. Infected swarmed us. We fought them off with rocks during the day. At night, they got more dangerous. Sometimes a sniper on the walls would have mercy and help. Eventually, some guy showed up told us he'd smuggle us in through the sewers. But as soon as we got past the wall, he disappeared with all our stuff. Then a patrol caught us, packed us in a truck, laughing that they were taking us to the mosh pit. That's what they called the refugee camp at the stadium. We slept on pallet beds. Everyone fit for work dug latrines. All right. I think we had enough of story time. One meal a day. <laughs> okay. No blankets. We were sick for almost a month. All right. Um. See, we got sidetracked again. Um. Yeah. Let's continue. Oh my God. I'm having bad luck with landing. I'm choosing the worst landing spots. We need to go up there. Oh no. But it's the safest area. Some strange guy. Do what you want. It's not that. Well, oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. A, a girl had him. She's. Ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. Uh, eh, yeah. <laughs> I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Uh -oh. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aider, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. <sighs> Aider! I have to get to the center, get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Mm, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, 
Appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy, carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Oh my god, here we go again. <clears throat> Now we have to Nathan. go. You still alive? I'm worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. I hope Aiden's got a plan to solve the world. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. P.K. and the Bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the Bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the Bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the P.K. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Wonder if my family's mail has finally arrived. Alright, so now we gotta head back to the bazaar. What the hell? A little lag there. Alright, um up here hopefully this time we don't fall because <laughs> lately i've been falling a lot i mean the parkour has been getting better but me falling hasn't <laughs> Inhibitor container detected. it's probably inside oh my god yeah, it's inside. Oh my god. We got sleepers. Oh wow, I could have went up from upstairs. Wow, really? Oh my god. <laughs> They're really trying to make this game so slick. hell out of here oh my god that was close that was really close yeah, somebody arm is getting chewed up <laughs> Okay. Top on top of the 
bus. Go. Can't open the door. Really? What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, why I can't get inside? Tell me they block all the entrances. Oh my god. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Hmm. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Hmm. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? <laughs> uh... A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. Mm. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. <laughs> but fine, I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman. Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place up. Uh, unskilled sp oh, yeah, spent. Okay, word. I got one here and then the other side, too. Um, reduce fall damage and keep your momentum. Oh, that's what I need. I'm always falling like a dumbass. <laughs> but, okay. Oh my god, jump twice as higher. 
Uh, I think we're gonna roll with this right here. Cause I'm tired of falling and taking too much damage. Okay. Dodging staggers. Okay. Um. Oh yes, yes, I need this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna need that. Air kick. Oh yeah. Um. I think we could go for health, honestly. Yeah, I kind of want to go with the stamina. Nice. Increase the time even more. Word. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. A certain transaction? Anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. <laughs> Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop and piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen. Clever, too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. <laughs> that guy is talented. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean, exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology and an armed faction to enforce it. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get. Difficult to destroy and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sounds good to me. You guys got back there. Trying to figure it out. Wow. People have no filter. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Looking for work by any... I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, 
it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarriant. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. We'll see, brother. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And just between us, you won't regret it. All right. <laughs> okay, so from what it looked like when we was here earlier, we didn't get any side quests. So now that the side quests are popping up, things are getting really interesting. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it, and we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. Need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. Lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay. I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. <laughs> okay. Sophie has interesting people. Like a pilgrim, apparently. Back in the day, I had a huge a massive Hello. Uh, 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 well and uh, the, a workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. What the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access? Some say the renegade. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign. Fashion store. And a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Look no further, young man. 
Okay. Um. I hear you've been to the owl. See if we can do any trading. Oh. Gun hammer? Oh, what? Oh, these are buys. Oh, I thought I had it in my inventory. Yes, I was wrong. Honestly, I think I'm just going to sell this weapon because it's already at that point. Sell this, sell this. Equip these two. See what, I, what we could do with those. Uh, range. Now, I'm not really going to be using any ranged weapons, honestly. Okay, so all valuable goods. Nice. Okay. What are they like? Um so let's go check out my gear. This one seems to be much better. Uh-huh. Um I know I picked up some gloves. Mask, pants. Okay, these are hand wraps, fighter mitts. Um, <clears throat> uh, damage resistance throughout the day. Um, damage resistance against human enemies. Uh, stamina regeneration. Okay. This is a tank. This is for a brawler. Um, melee weapons. Let's check this out. Let's check that out. I think we're going to go with this one. Um, because of the fact that it has stamina. Yeah, the the melee weapons. You don't really take too much damage. Um, let's just use that for now and see what happens. But, uh, let's continue. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. And you won't regret it. Come here. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Well, the guy Barney? doesn't talk. <laughs> Answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Then why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here, and he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. All so right. New night quest. Um, honestly, I think we're gonna.
try to do some side quests. See if we can clear some out. See what happens. Um, the ball is in your court. Uh, missing person. Hmm. Then we're going to try this one, the missing person. Let's see how that turns out to be. Alright, where do we need to go? Okay. Oh my god. Hey there. Aider. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. We'll do. Over and out. How's it going, kiddo? It seems I met Carl before you. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing? I'm helping save her brother's ass. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. a night quest oh help please we need help what happened some infected attacked us tore our windmill apart all our UVs are down I'm not sure how I can help if we don't get our lamps back on, we won't survive the night. All right, I'll do what I can. Man, let's go help these guys out. Uh, okay, he's up there. Let's get back up here. Oh my god. I'm gonna regenerate. I'm back up here. Let's do it. Oh yeah. What the hell? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, there you are. I was wondering where the hell he went. Come <clears throat> on. Let's go. Got it. Come on, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Climb back up, climb back up. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, let's continue. Climb. Thank you. Thank you, sir. First survivors. 
What am I doing? I think I'm gonna settle by the window. Now the bitch is back. Yes, there you go. First survivor's camp. I hear Barney got a pair of the turbines to look at the fish. My gut tells me. I can't believe you fixed the windmill. No one's managed to reach the top of the I was gonna ask you about it. You know what? I just did. Grenades. Uh, nah, that's alright. Um, yeah, let's continue on with this quest. Let's see what else happens. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my god. Honestly, I should have bought the grenades. That is not good. That is not good. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm oh my god. I gotta. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Just swing. Just swing, bro. Stay up here. Oh my god, what the hell, dude? Oh my god. Honestly, I should have bought the grenade. I think that should have helped me out. What the hell? Oh my god. I totally forgot I had this. Spread, little birdie, spread. Oh, hell no. Get off me. Generate re Oh my god! Regenerate, regenerate. My God, what the hell? Oh yeah, Lisa's <laughs> an unlimited supply of loot right here. Oh my God. Item. Oh, I didn't do him. I wonder if there's like a, a perk that we can get. There you go. Got the crystal. Oh my god, there's more. What the hell? I think he's the only one. Eh, it's just one. I can handle him. Oh, Barney's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. I totally forgot about that. Oh, pick up the crystals. More crystals we have, the better. Oh yeah, that's Barney Barney. He's dead for real. Barney, 
free. Do you hear me? Report in, Tamak. Sophie, Taden, I found a radio. And a body. Male. White, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kodak. One of ours. Barney can't be far. Investigation. Um, some information can be hidden in plain sight to discover. Oh, to discover it. You need to use the investigation mechanics, okay? To investigate an area, press right stick um, to use your survival sense and look around for clues. Follow the leads as they create a path that will take you to your goal. If needed, use survival skills or uh, survival sense again to refresh uh, the leads. Okay. Let's finish looting around, honestly. Take that from you, sir. This. I didn't finish looting him. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. Oh, my God. Honestly, I, I think it's probably the worst time to actually do this, but I think we're going to end it right here. Um, So far, so good. Like, this game is just getting crazy and crazier, and I'm dying right now. Uh, Hopefully, I can find a way to actually do what I need to do, but hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.